Making super paper gliders is a lot of fun. But what makes a paper glider super? That's what we're going to explore today. The many designs of gliders that you can make by simply folding and cutting paper. You may already have your own favourite paper glider design and you can test and use your favourite design in the Super Paper Glider Challenge if you want. To make a glider super though, you'll need to be able to control it. First, let's make a glider. You'll need a nice, flat working area. You really want the surface to be as smooth and flat as possible to help you make good folds. You'll need a few pieces of paper for your gliders. Any rectangle of paper around 20 centimeters wide and 30 centimeters tall will do. You can try making gliders from different sizes of paper as part of your experiments. Finally, you will need some string and a ruler. We'll use these to test our gliders in the final challenge. Here is a guide to making a nice glider using a few simple folds. Get your rectangular piece of paper. First, carefully fold the piece of paper in half lengthways to make a crease along the centre line. Unfold the paper so it's flat again. We will use the crease we made as a guide. Now carefully fold each top corner in until it reaches the centre line crease you made earlier. If you run your finger or a ruler along the fold you've just made, you'll make it nice and neat. Now that we've folded in the upper corners, we want to fold the whole top half of the paper until the point is about 2 centimetres from the bottom. Fold each of the new top corners to the centre line again. There should be a small triangle left. Fold this up and over the corner folds you've just made to hold them down. Now fold the glider in half along the centre line that you started with, making sure that the little triangle you made earlier is visible on the outside. Finally, we need to make the wings of our glider by folding the wing edges down from the nose to the back until they meet and line up with the bottom edge of the glider. The design and the video is online if you forget. Now, test flight time. Find a nice clear space with no wind. Launch your glider smoothly and horizontally and carefully watch how it flies. Did it turn to one side? A pilot or aircraft engineer might call that yaw. Did it rise up quickly or dive towards the ground? Pilots call that pitching up or pitching down. Did it spin? An aircraft engineer might call that a roll. You can adjust how your glider flies by making control surfaces. The control surfaces move and catch the air. The force of the air pushing on a control surface pushes the glider in the opposite direction. You can cut small control surfaces into the back of your paper glider wings. Can you make it spin? loop the loop or fly perfectly straight, you may only need to make tiny adjustments to make big changes in how your glider flies. Once you've learned how to control how your glider flies, you are ready for today's challenge. Mark a target on the floor, five meters away from where you will launch your glider. This could be a cup or a toy. Launch your glider towards the target. How close to the target can you make it land? Measure carefully from the centre of the target to the very nose of your glider. Shad from Caris Maths will tell you how to use the results of several flights to find an average. That will be the score you will submit for today's challenge. Have fun flying!